Hi everyone, so I'm back four years on from my very first YouTube video in a completely different country but today I am talking about what is in my makeup bag now this is currently my makeup bag it's actually an Ikea holder and I keep it on my bathroom shelf so my brushes aren't in here right now I just have products but I'm gonna go through them and I'm gonna show you what I use every single day so this is Mac Fix Plus. I cannot rave enough about this. I use it every single day, whether I'm going out, whether I'm going to work, whatever I'm doing. Every time I do makeup, I use it. When I'm doing a client, when I'm doing myself, I use it. Um, I find it's really good to add moisture back into the skin before or after makeup. If you've maybe put too much powder on or if you've done too much baking and you end up looking cakey. Next is MAC Skin Finish Natural. Um, this is in the colour Dark. I use this as my bronzer. It's a lot warmer than most bronzers. Um, I am actually wearing it today. And sometimes I'll actually put this in my crease and that is really really pretty. Next is an hourglass powder. I use every day, I've used this for about two or three years. It's the ambient lighting powder in dim light. This is a Kat Von D ink liner um, in Trooper. I've been through a lot of eyeliners but this is my favourite of the moment. I've tried a L'Oreal one, I've, I used to do the gel pot liners but this is the easiest one to use for myself. It's waterproof, it stays the whole day. I've been wearing this now for around 10 hours and it still looks good. So uh, the only thing I would say is make sure you let it dry before you curl, you curl your lashes or it will come off onto your lash curl. Next is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in Translucent. I only bought this recently but I have been loving it. It really separates the hairs. Um, I chose to get it in translucent purely because when you have a colour already in it, it kind of limits how you can use it, if that makes sense. This is perfect for any brow colour, um, whether I've got product on underneath or not. So, the product that coincides with this is MAC Fling. Whenever I do clients, I always use pencil. I used to use the Anastasia... Um, brow pomade but recently I've really been loving this this is the Charlotte Tilbury film star bronze and glow when I first bought this I'm not gonna lie I did not use it then recently I saw someone use the highlight as a nose highlight really really nice because it's not too strong sometimes when I use let's say the back of one on my nose it's way too strong so I often use the Charlotte Tilbury one on my nose. Next, I always prep my skin with this. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I actually have a bigger pot of this. I have the full size of this, but I got this in an advent calendar and I tend to refill this one and put it into this makeup bag just because it's smaller and it's a lot easier. If I'm gonna travel somewhere, I can just refill it and just put it in my bag and take it with me. So Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, when I originally tried this a few years ago when it first came out, it was really heavy on the skin. Um, and then I tried it again when I got this in December and I've fallen in love with it. I now use it every single day, no matter what look I'm doing. So I do really like this. Next is mascara. This is my all time favourite mascara. I've tried so many. My lashes are actually really, really straight naturally. This is something I use every single day, no matter what I'm doing. I actually have really um, dark under eyes, not saying that I use it under my eyes, but it also means that I have dark eyelids. It's not nice, really. Um, so I actually use soft ochre every single day. Um, I've even got it on today, even though I've got eyeliner on, just to cancel out any redness um, or veins that are on my eyes. Next is the Too Faced Sweet tea bronzer how cute is that it's two colors and I think it's absolutely stunning to be honest um, I use this every single day it's gorgeous really natural um, really pretty I'm obsessed with it I don't know what else to say more this 
This is amazing. It's the Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream. I love this. Um, it's really wearable, it's not cakey, it's really light coverage but also buildable, it's really light, it's not too oily, I can wear this the whole day and it won't come off. Um, even though it's just a CC cream, it cancel cancels out the redness on my cheeks. I really, really love it. I just picked up this one, which is 31. I'm usually 32. But now that I live in a cold country, I actually have to wear 32. 31. Which makes my life so much more exciting. It's stroke cream. I only started using this maybe about seven months ago. I use it every single day under my foundation and it just adds glowiness. I like glowiness. This is just the original one. It's in the travel size. Someone told me that if you buy two of the travel size, it's actually cheaper than getting one full size and you get more product. So I went with that option. Next is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is my second one. I've been through this already. Um, I use this to bake my under eyes. This is the Select Cover Up MAC Concealer. Um, I love it. I use it in NW20. Really, really nice. My Clarins Instant Light Concealer. I use this on top of my Select Cover Concealer and it really adds brightness back into the skin. Also really good if you want to add a highlight to here or down the nose or on the chin but you don't want it to be full, full coverage. It's really light, it's really brightening. For nights where I am going out, I use my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is another love. I have it in three shades. Um, I think Deauville, oh no, Mont Blanc, uh, Santa Fe and Fiji. Uh, Fiji was like my wearable normal shade. Uh, Mont Blanc is my winter shade and Santa Fe is my summer shade. This is one of my Anastasia palettes. This is Birkin, really nice crease colour. Um, this is Truffle. I use this all over the lid and it looks absolutely stunning. This is Sienna, a really, really nice crease colour. I use this when I go out. And this, I have a feeling, is Pink Champagne. Really nice on the lid. And that is my makeup bag. If you have any suggestions of what videos I should do next, then please comment down below. Also check out my Instagram, I will be putting it in the description. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye guys!